On behalf of Group 4, how to design your blueprint, hello to our presentation and welcome to our journey in the blueprinting. So let's start quickly and discuss together what is a blueprint. Our objective for today is to define the blueprint and enumerate its purpose, outline the different type of blueprint and discuss the factors that should be considered in preparing a new blueprint. First of all, assessment is a major tool in the medical school curriculum. It provides you a way to assess the progress of the student, but you have to bear in mind the validity of this test. So, we have to make sure that this assessment is valid, consistent with very obvious learning objective and course objective, and truly important learning outcome uh, is addressed in a balanced manner. Here comes a function of the blueprint. The blueprint balance between the learning objectives and the assessment you are having. So, blueprint represents one of the elements of a comprehensive curriculum mapping strategy. Blueprint, by definition, is a map or a specification of assessment items based on the educational outcome and its primary function is to support the validity of the assessment about its content of the curriculum. Many of us have faced a lot of those troubles during the exam and still many of our students are having those troubles. Hence comes a blueprint but you must make sure that you have clear learning objectives and you have a, a sufficient activities and teaching and learning activities to support those learning objectives. Then the assessment task must allow the student to demonstrate the extent of which LO is achieved. The blueprint connect all of those three elements to have a successful valid assessment. So what are the types of blueprint? Let's start from the basics. The curricular or content blueprint. In another meaning, the matrix. The curricular uh, uh, blueprint describes the content to be taught and achieve the period of the program. It describes other important features like uh, emphasize giving on a certain topic teaching and learning format. For example, to make it simple, the second year medical school blueprint for the program of all year. For the next time, the master blueprint is specified for all of the objective per a module or locus or a, 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 a bulk module taken. For example, the locomotor module blueprint. It's designed once and after the specs is quietly reviewed. The way it is also must be stated. Finally, the test blueprint is very specific for a certain test or topic, like for example, for 2023 mid, uh, midterm exam blueprint, it describes the key elements of the certain test, a certain assessment designed for each test and assessment tool, the so weightage and percentage are also mentioned and the number of items allocated. So, with a me what is the meaning of the test blueprint? It is a three-dimensional chart or a table that shows the weightage given to the objective and content, and it forms a question in, uh, in the term of marks. Uh, for example, this is a, 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 a diagram for a, a master blueprint. Uh, we have a different theories and different schools in, uh, in writing the master blueprint, but this is an example for it. Like having the learning objectives here, the semester for a module, so we have all of the uh, uh, objectives here for all the different uh, spectrum. And we have the method of teaching either uh, lecture or small group work or practical. Then the impact and frequency and those are important to, uh, to, uh, to calculate the weightage. And the cognitive level is somehow preferred to be this high cognitive or low cognitive level. Then we write the assessment tool when and how we will be assessing this. If you feel confused, don't worry. More details are coming later next week, inshallah. So, what's the purpose of preparing a blueprint? Is it clearly to define the scope of the test, or it is related to the objective and content, or to improve the content on validity, and finally, maybe it's to assure that the test will be properly put according to the learning objective, all of those 
four purposes are aimed by putting a, a true and effective blueprint. And you must put in consideration the purpose of the test. Some tests are quite simple in purpose, but some are complex. You must put in mind what is the purpose of the test. And what is the content? framework of this test. Start with the scheme of the framework commonly used to organize and consolidate the medical knowledge. For example, what is the basic science, biochemistry, genetics, or clinical science, surgery, or pediatrics? The, contest of the uh, content of the framework is very important in putting a blueprint. And the testing time is very crucial. So you will know where it's, you put an exam consistent with the time given for the test. Also, the format of the items given in the test is very important. Is it MCQ, AC, or OSCE, or multiple uh, extended uh, AC, or something? And the content weight is very, very important. It is known as the number of items per content area. And for the weightage, we will uh, discuss it, inshallah, in the, net, in the next week and how to calculate it exactly inshallah finally for this week don't forget to uh, submit your assignment i'm clarifying what is the benefits of the blueprint also we need you on the discussion forum to discuss the following in your opinion is it better to distribute the blueprint to the student before entering the module or the course or the even the year or not some prefer some do not prefer and let's discuss together and explain what you think and why thank you so much for your concern and see you next week inshallah